Well, how do there, chums? It's I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys, out there in the viewerverse, I'm going to be playing some modded No Man's Sky and pressing on with my PC save. Hopefully we'll find ourselves a freighter in this episode. Maybe. We will see. We shall see. But I'm going to be turning down the first one anyway, because, yeah, I'd like a nice dreadnought or destroyer class. Anyway, let's jump on over into game, shall we, people in the viewerverse? Okay. So here we go, and uh, yeah, I'm inside of the Nexus at the moment, so we're just going to fly out of the Nexus, and you know what, I'm going to jump to a fresh system, and see how we get on, people. Here we go, let's take one off, and let's fly on out. Brilliant! That door's nice and closed. Right then, get a bit more central camera. Oh, I could just move my camera. Oh, that's probably better, isn't it? There we are. Lovely. Okay, well, let's uh, warp then, shall we? Let's go to a fresh system this episode, people in the view of us. Oh, yeah. Right out. We're going here. Now I have got the economy scanner and also the complex scanner installed in my ship at the moment, people. Oh, I went through and um, repaired all the damaged slots since this is still in creative mode at the moment, peeps. I will be popping it over into um, relaxed mode as and when I feel like it. Um, you know, this whole new difficulty setting changes has changed the way that we can play No Man's Sky, so why the fudge not, people in the viewer? Yes. Right there, well I've arrived Dakota in Itacast system. Itacast system sounds quite cool, doesn't it? Alright, what's this lovely frickin' marble in front of us? It's got rings around it. Have a look, see. The fungal mold world. But you know what? It doesn't really matter scanning planets anymore. Because every planet has got something interesting about it. I'm gonna to fly to the light side of the planet. Hopefully we get the daylight. Oh no, that's what we're twin. Let's have a quick look, see? Let's see. Uh, when we land on this beautiful marble. Very purple, isn't it? Okay, well, let's fly on down. It's a fungal mold world. Remember that, peeps. I don't know whether I've ever seen a purple fungal mold world from space. And then let's fly on down and let's have a little gander at this beauty. People. I say a little gander at this beauty because, like I say, within modded play, you don't really know what you're going to get. Or at least I don't yet. I mean, I haven't seen any patterns as yet. Okay. And this looks pretty darn weird, doesn't it? Holy fudge! I'm right by a colossal archive. Well, oh, like we had it. Alright, cool. Let's see if we can land by this colossal archive. The first time I've come across a colossal archive inside of modded play. Now, colossal archives are quite complex structures, so I'd imagine I've lost a few frames and things like that. So, sorry people if I've gone a little bit sort of um, robotic for a moment or two. Did I just see an exotic ship like oh. oh I did actually I could be imagining things it could have been an explorer type ship could uh, there's an explorer trying to land on me right now people right well let's jump into camera mode let's have a better look at this beautiful planet oops okay that's pretty darn freaking gnarly let's um, put the sun in the old sky when well, it's already in the sky there's like a nice little cave-like network going on inside of this planet. There is some pretty weirdness going on. I wouldn't say this is amongst the top planets that I've landed on. But it's interesting. It does have some intrigue to it, people in the viewers, doesn't it? It does. I guess it does. Alright. Okay, well, fine. It's pretty darn sweet. How many planets are inside of this system? Go to Discoveries. Let's have a quick look-see. And we've got... Quite a few planets. From another one, two, and three. Four planets in the side of this system, people. Alright, well, um, maybe we should go check out a couple of others. Let's go and check out a couple of others. I do like these um, giant bird like. They're pretty. Aren't they? Give one of them a quick scan. Come on, I want to scan the creature. Boom. There we go. Gnarly creature. What else we got on this planet? We've got all sorts going on here. Bouncing critters. Weird critters that fly through the actual ground. These ones aren't going as fast as they normally do. Pretty cool. Nice and easy to scan. Got a little, little guy there. There's a little ball creature over there. Look at him. Yeah, we're going to give him a scan as well. Wow. Well, I've, I've got quite a lot of creatures just standing off on here. I don't know what that is. I can, I'm having def difficult getting my drawing pad on it. There we go. Boom. Nice little sock type creature. Alright, oh, we've got a whole bevy of creatures there, peeps. Well, let's take one off. Let's fly to the next planet. Let's have a quick look at the next one. 
I mean, this one's quite cool. I mean, like the little cave is. I mean, you could explore the caves. In fact, I haven't been inside of a cave yet, inside of this place, to see what if the caves have been overhauled all that much. I could fly my ship in one, but I'm not going to get back out again. And that's probably not the best of ideas. Oh, I like the animation on top of that. Look, like, like a giant octopus plant. Isn't that cool? Pretty gnarly. Anyway, let's take off into the atmosphere. And let's go and jump over to another planet. Let's have another look at another planet inside of the system, people. Yeah, I thought I was going to get my first freighter encounter. I think this was my third warp jump, but I could be wrong. Yeah, what have we got? What's this lovely marble? Let's have a look at this one then. The first one was fungal. This one is a foaming planet. Now, we've already landed on one foaming planet. And it had small bubbles. It had large bubbles in the air. Let's see if this foaming planet looks anything like the previous foaming planet, shall we, people in the viewerverse? That could be a nice little test, couldn't it? I've also upgraded my pulse engine slightly, so I am flying a little bit faster now from planet to planet, but it's still not massively faster. And I just sorted out my exosuit, put a bit of tech in there and stuff. It's, it's going okay. It saves okay. Let's um, head on down. But I would say it's flying from system to system now. The warping from system to system with this mod on takes freaking ages. I'm so used to lightning speed sort of reloads of saves and things on my PlayStation 5. What the heck was that in the sky over there? Oh, okay. Okay, all right, fine. I've got nowhere I can land. All right, you see that little podium there amongst this field of freaking evil? We're going to land on that. Okay, well, this is a foaming planet. Should be a bubbly type planet. <laughs> it's not. It's um very different to the last one we landed on, people. Now, I can see some bubbles on the actual surface of this planet, but the rest of the planet has just gone freaking ballistic, hasn't it? It also looks a bit like one of the weekend planets that we sometimes get sent to by Hello Games. Apart from it looks like it's sort of on growth hormone or something. Look at it. That's freaking mental. Okay. That is slightly crazy. You know what? I think this is probably the nicest of planets I've landed on so far in this episode. So let's uh, get a little bit of a, a screenshot going on there, shall we? Or shan't we? It's um, a little bit too weird, actually, isn't it, this one? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know whether that's screenshot worthy, that one. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, we've got it anyway. Boom. Anyhow, um, yeah, so... I am finding, though, people, that I'm landing on planets, taking a quick look at what they're about, and then I'm taking off again. So it's like I said before, even if they did add all this extra diversity and variety into game, is it too little too late now? You know, because I know I can't build any bases, because if I build any bases, nobody's going to be able to go there and visit them, because all the terrain's all different heights and things. So there's no point in building bases on these or calling one home or anything like that. It's just a case of, well, we'll have a look what's there. And I'm landing, having a look what's there, then I'm gone again because I know that it hasn't introduced any new buildings, it hasn't introduced any new fauna. Um, so maybe I need to go back to the mod catalogue and maybe add in some fauna. I think I saw one to add in the E3 Diplo on planets. Wouldn't it be cool to come across one of those? Even though I know if you guys go there, you're not going to see it. Which, it kind of defeats the point, doesn't it? Now, I've also seen another pattern. I don't know whether it's a true pattern to go by. But, you know, every single time I've seen a content creator hit up modded gameplay or start looking into modded gameplay, it hasn't been long before they've stopped covering No Man's Sky. Just like the procedural traveller. He was doing loads of No Man's Sky content, hit up some modded play, then after a while, nothing. And, you know, it's, it's like Cobra. He started looking into modded gameplay in No Man's Sky, and then after a while, he... He disappeared. And L plays. L plays have done some modded gameplay. He added structures and buildings and all sorts of weirdness into his gameplay sessions. Then after a while, he stopped covering No Man's Sky as well. Now a lot of them moved on to other things, or or, or, or now do other things, or have got busier in life. Like PT's got a busier normal life, and so is L plays. And Cobra's moved over to Star Citizen and covering that. So it's I don't know. Did modded gameplay sort of take out their their passion for No Man's Sky. Maybe they saw all this modded play and thought, well, that's never going to come into the verse, so who knows? Now, this is completely freaking flat. Hasn't got hardly any sort of flora on there. Hardly any rocks. Oh, this is bizarre. Now, this is a lush world, isn't it? This is a star bramble planet. 
look, it's got a giant hill right there. A massive swathe of flat and then a giant freaking hill. How random is this algorithm that's being used inside of this mod play? Isn't this cool to come across a planet that looks a bit like this? This is a bit like, you know, when uh, we was watching all the IGN first videos. This looks so much like one of those planets. Uh, it, it, it does. It's got that sort of retro nod to it. And I love it. Freaking love it. I want to fly to the top of that mountain. Come on, ship. We're going to go find a mountain. But even these crystals, you look how it looks. Look, it's off at an angle and stuff. We just don't get that sort of stuff in normal play, do we? Anyway, let's um let's have a quick look at let's go to the top of one of these mountains. I wanna have a look at the um random hillocks. There's a random hillock right here inside of this mist. I don't know whether you guys can see it, but here we go. Let's just fly over this landscape for a while, shall we? Go in the view of us. Let's have a better look at the sort of terrain mapping, terrain generation on this one. It's got these meandering sort of hills. I would say that the textures on the hills, they aren't as nice as what we see inside of PlayStation 5 and things. But then I've turned my graphic settings down so I can capture this video footage. And also, you know, it's running OBS and No Man's Sky at the same time at the moment that's struggling. And of course, these mods aren't as optimized as well as the full game. I would like to hope that Hello Games could work their magic with something like this. If they are to vet, and approve mods and get them in is finding a way of get them to hit the optimization bars for the platforms that are running them that's pretty darn cool isn't it that was a pretty cool planet i like that one okay well we're going for it this episode people we've hit up a couple of planets let's just do one more and then i think i'd jump up to the space station and call this one a an episode done you know what uh oh Okay, we're just going to jump to another freaking system. Okay, here we go. Because trying to find planets amongst the ones you've already done is always a little bit tedious, isn't it? Here we go here. It's another Corvac system. Tranquil. Okay, Corleo. And it's a two-star system. We're on our way, Pete. Okay, people. Well, we've arrived, Kate. And look at this planet that's right in front of us. This is the Janam IV system. Okay, Corleo. Well, this looks like it should be a star bulb planet from look and feel. A little load of freighters, though. None are in distress, though. Let's give it a quick scan. Let's, and then we're going to jump up to the space station after this, people. Uh, there we go. And it is. It's a tropical planet. Let's fly on down to this tropical planet and have a little gander, shall we? Sweet. We've got a load of little beaches here. And we've got quite a lot of tree coverage on this planet. I'm going to land somewhere in the middle of this lake. People, I'm just going to set my ship down here on this little beach. Have a quick look around on this one. Just missed that tree line there. Wouldn't it be cool to come across a jungle-like planet? Oh my days! Okay, um... This has just turned into something out of freaking Avatar, mate! This is cool! No way! Floating islands and all sorts of shenanigans going on here, people. Oh my days. Is this the nicest planet I have landed on so far? Look at the size of that star bramble! Look at the size of these trees! Holy fudge. This one demands to be freaking explored, mate. Going over. We're going to have a quick look-see. Oh, wow. This is epic, isn't it? Look at that. Freaking heck yes. This this is like a forest planet. This is a forest planet. This is, this is like Endor. I mean, Endor was more of a forest moon, wasn't it? Yeah, it would be cool to come across a jungly planet. I don't know whether they've added in trees with vines and stuff like that in there. But this is quite nice. I'm liking all this ambient sort of fog that's going on. Now, because I've got to play OBS at the same time, I'd imagine if I ramp this right up to the maximum graphic setting, it would look fine. Look at the floating islands as well. It's pretty darn freaking epic, isn't it? What about this in camera mode? Yeah, that's... um. It's so heavily foliaged, it's hard to get a decent screenshot, isn't it? I should be up there. That's where I need to be. Okay. All right. Well, let's um, let's go back in my ship and let's see if we can find a better place to land. Now I know the lay of the land and know that it's got all these little floating islands everywhere. Let's see if we can get. Oh, actually, this could make a nice not just here, with that giant star bramble by my ship. Oh yes, look at that. Now that looks pretty darn freaking gnarly. It would be nice to have a few of the trees here. You know, I don't want to give up too give out too much of what what's going to be in the episode. 
bit, but that's pretty darn nice, isn't it? That gives a certain sort of level of cool going on there, intrigue. If we can get a better angle, because of course I've got me on the screen. That's kind of okay. But let's see if we can better that, people, before we end off. I want to get a really nice screenshot for this, the thumbnail, to sort of get people to look at this video itself. Because I honestly do think more attention needs to come to modded play. And I'm hoping that somebody with a slightly more powerful PC than me, and there's also a content creator, might think, you know what, let's give that a chance. Let's give that a try. Especially since at the moment that the content for No Man's Sky is a little bit awry, isn't it? Um, fly over here then. Okay, so here's some floating islands amongst a load of trees, and we've got water. Let's get one right in the center of all. Crazy. Go for this little island here, I think. Okay, yeah, and on this. Boom. Okay. I think this could make a nice screenshot. We'll see. Okay. Um, it's very difficult to see the freaking trees through this haze. Okay. Uh, let's try turning it to like sunset. Oh. Oh my god. Look at that. That looks freaking cool. Was it like the other way around? Ooh, very purple. No, it, it looks really cool this way around. Uh, oh, actually, look at that with the planet hanging in the background. No, this way is nice. That is so cool. Okay, if I put it over that way, we'll be able to clip it. So I've got my little astronaut guy there. Boom. That's a, that's a thumbnail. That's freaking awesome. Okay, people, well, this planet is probably the nicest of planets that I've come across. I'm just going to sort of do a little, little low aerial flyover of this landscape for a bit. And then I'm going to head on up to the station, I think. Let's see how we get on flying through all of this foliage. Do with a smaller ship. Do with like a tiny shuttle or something. Because, yeah, it's, it's pretty darn hard to fly through all this foliage. Let's go underneath this. <laughs> I'm getting brave. Wow. What a cool planet. This is like something out of Avatar, isn't it? What's that planet called? It's called Pandora, isn't it? This is very Pandora-esque. These trees are very cool. It has got those sort of IGN first play type vibe. Very awesome. Okay, let's fly on up to the actual station. I need to expand my exosuit, so I'm going to do that each episode, expand my exosuit. And you can do that again also inside of the Nexus if you're looking to do the same people in the view of us, if you need to get yourself all kitted out. Yeah, I'm going to fly up into the space station. I'm also taking a quick look in the multi-tool cabinets when I go to space stations and inside of the Nexus, because at the moment I've still got the beginner sort of um, multi-tool. Keeping an eye out for nice ships as they fly into the stations as well, but I'm not overly looking. At the moment it's still all about you know showing you guys modded planets, getting some footage for future sort of speculation and idea videos. And also just to see what modded play brings to the game and whether it does actually add an extra dimension. I mean, even as nice as that planet is, I know that there could be nicer ones out there. So I'm just continuing on. No, you can keep your multi-tool, it's the wrong colour. <laughs> yeah, fussy me, fussy me. Right, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, let's go and expand my exosuits. That's done. Just here, let's go. This guy, uh, hello there. I'm just going to rob this cabinet. I don't even want to speak to you, my friend. We go up to here, and I'm going to do the technology first, I think, people in the view of us. There we go. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much me. Oh, actually, we could check the S-Class modules. Have you got any S-Class modules for my exosuit, my friend? Let's see what he's got. Movement would be nice. Heck yes, it would. Purchase modules. Boom. Oh, no, S-Class movement module. I'm glad I freaking checked. Excellent, eh? They should be the same, I should think, um, inside of your areas of play as well. There we go. Stick that in there. What sort of boosts do we get on there? Oh, supercharged! Heck yes it is. Freaking awesomes. Alright people, well there we go. I'm going to be ending off now. Um, I just need to jump in and out of my ship to save the fact that we just upgraded my Nexus. I do like the metallic colour of this explorer ship. It is quite cool. But yeah, I would like to find myself something quite tasty. I would like the original Alpha Vector. Yeah, that'd be nice. Look at that guy that just landed. That's very orange, isn't it? Looks very rebel. Anyway, people in the view of us, I think I'm um, probably me done for this episode, so over.
So yeah, I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching, and I understand modded play isn't for everyone, but it, it just gives you an idea of what is out there. If you've got a PC that's capable of doing more, but it's more to look at the engine of No Man's Sky and Hello Games and what they could bring into verse. Until next time, people, you've been awesome. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.